Welcome to video 204 in series 3 and now I'm going to write the vehicle camera free look script. Okay, so we already have a script that will follow the vehicle. It'll cause the camera to follow the vehicle rather. Now I want to write a script so that when you, I hold my left mouse button I can just orbit the camera around the car, for example. So, um, yep, so I'll just go ahead and make a new C Sharp script and call it vehicle camera underscore free look and open it up. I've got quite a few variables uh, I need to put in. So first of all public vector 2 rotation range is equal to new vector 2 70 comma 361. I have put 361 there that's the y-axis. It'll allow us to basically orbit in a complete circle and just continue the circle. Otherwise you'll see later on we have code that'll cause it to get clamped uh, and you won't be able to rotate in a continuous circle. Uh, then the next variable is public float rotation speed is equal to 10 private vehicle camera underscore master vehicle cam master. Private transform target transform private vector 3 target angles, private quaternion captured rotation, private bool is in free look, private float input h, private float input v. Now I'd like to start by uh, making a new method right at the bottom and it's called void follow target rotation. Inside write if target transform is not equal to null and not is in free look. Captured rotation is equal to quaternion dot look rotation. Pass in target transform dot forward comma vector three dot up. What this method anyway is going to do uh, is going to capture the current rotation. You know which way uh, the vehicle is facing basically, and use that for the camera. So it'll keep it in the camera's memory of what its rotation should be uh, when being reset. And uh, what that'll also, what this also will do is to, if the player lets go, if it lets go of the, uh, if the player lets go of the mouse button, it'll cause the camera to rotate smoothly back to that uh, original position, basically, back to the position rather that the vehicle is facing right now. Uh, so I should continue what I was uh, saying there. So captured rotation is equal to quaternion dot look rotation pass and target transform dot forward comma vector three dot up. Then the next line tar, uh, transform dot rotation sorry. So transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot lerp pass in transform dot rotation comma captured rotation comma five times time dot delta time. So that's the bit that will cause the camera to move back smoothly in line with the vehicle, looking at the rear of the vehicle. And then target angles is equal to captured rotation dot Euler angles. Now for this method, it's important I call it in fixed update. So I'll just put that there. Void fixed update and then just call uh, follow target rotation. Uh, now this script doesn't have any way of knowing who the target transform is, so let's uh, adjust that. Write void assign target, so that's a new method, and pass in transform, and I just called it targ. Target transform is equal to targ. Okay, in uh, set initial references, I'm going to put in vehicle cam master is equal to get component vehicle camera master. I won't have a start method, so I'll just get rid of that. In on enable, I will call set initial references and vehicle cam master dot event assign camera target plus equal assign target. And of course, the corresponding unsubscribe vehicle cam master dot event assign camera target minus equal assign target. So there we go, that's taken care of. We'll look at the master, get that target. And that can be used. Now we're not finished, we've got lots more to do. Now I need a method to actually do the free look. So I'm going to put in a new method. This called void free look rotation. And inside of an if block, it's going to be if input dot get mouse button zero, 
so that's the left mouse button and time dot time scale greater than zero so obviously you shouldn't be able to do free look while the game is paused paused well i don't want it to be that way anyway or if like a menu is open i will then check if target transform is null then return so there's no point continuing continuing any further because we don't have a vehicle to follow in the first place now uh, when we are when we are doing a free look turn the flag is in free look to true so is in free look is equal to true and this flag is the reason why when it's set to false uh, the camera will then go back to looking at the car's direction so it'll go back to the correct orientation so that's what that flag is for for setting that condition so while this is true it's not going to do that which is good transform dot rotation is equal to captured rotation so that'll give us a good starting point because that's always being captured in fixed update uh, right here and we do want to use that value it'll allow us to free look smoothly i mean immediately there won't be a sudden jerk in the camera like once you've written this script and uh after a couple of videos from now when the camera is actually doing its job you can come back here and edit this script comment stuff out and then you'll understand why that bit of code is there and then then next and this code by the way quite a bit of it here this all this bit is from a unity script i'm pretty sure i took it from the uh from a mouse look script and i've adapted it for this application anyway so input h is equal to input dot get access and it's mouse x you have to write it exactly like that it's one of the input uh names and then the other one is input v is equal to input dot get access mouse y so if you uh, change these then you need to have them back these mouse axes back in your input settings now if target angles these are just default unity ones that i've not changed and now making use of them if target angles dot y is greater than 180 then target angles dot y minus equal 360 if target angles dot x is greater than 180 then target angles dot x minus equal 360 if target angles dot y is less than minus 180 then target angles dot y plus equal 360 if target angles dot x less than minus 180 then target angles dot x plus equal 360 all right so that's just stuff to uh, capture these we're just computing the target angles that should eventually well ultimately be applied to the camera and this is here so that we don't have unusual jerky camera behavior so if you change these or play around with these you'll see what i mean but of course you won't see that until a couple of videos from now a uh, target angles dot y plus equal input h times rotation speed target angles dot x plus equal input v times rotation speed okay so this allows us to update the values on the fly as we move the mouse and then target angles dot y well rather reflect what the mouse uh, movement is like and then target angles dot y is equal to math f dot clamp target angles dot y comma minus rotation range dot y times 0 0.5 f comma rotation range dot y times 0 0.5 f so this is just clamping the value as per the rotation range limit that we've put here okay and you can set that in the inspector as well uh, target angles dot x is equal to math f dot clamp target angles dot x comma minus rotation range dot x times 0 0.5 f comma rotation range dot x times 0 0.5 f so you can see i'm clamping between a negative and a positive value here now finally i'll apply that transform dot rotation is equal to quaternion dot euler pass in minus target angles dot x comma target angles dot y comma zero so you have to put minus there otherwise uh, it's going to work in the opposite way, I'm pretty sure, when you move your mouse in the vertical axis. Oh, and by the way, target angles.y is to do with the horizontal rotation because you have to rotate in the y-axis to rotate side to side. 
Now, all of this was inside of an if block. You know, the if input dot get mouse button and time dot time scale. Now, outside of that if block, there is an else is in free look is equal to false. And I just need to call this in update. So just call uh, this method free look ro rotation in update. And so because we have an input in there, so we need to. And what will happen as well is that uh, this boolean will always be set to false when you're not uh, holding your left mouse button down. And so then uh, it will restore the camera automatically than if you were in a free look. Uh, I think that's actually all of it, so we're pretty much done with this script. But I think that's enough for this video. Next video, I'll go ahead and actually set up that camera. It's not going to do anything for a while until we're actually driving the car. Yep, so no errors. All good. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.